my name is Aaron Bartlett. I've been doing automotive photography since 2018. For me, that's three years. I do mostly light painting in my work, and I use here a Yongnuo YN360. I'll come back to that. My company name, it's American Motors Bio. That's also for my initials, A and B. What it is, is I'm American. I live in the Netherlands, and I take pictures of motors, cars, and I do a profile, which is bio, of the cars. You can find me on www.americanmotorsbio.com or on Instagram at am underscore bio underscore auto, auto photography, I think. I'll just put it down here. The question is, what will we be doing today? Well, that's a good one because I've been looking online for a diffuser for my Yongnuo YN360. When you're light painting, uh, it's a little bit difficult because you've got this crazy bright light and oftentimes you see streaks through the air in the photos and you oftentimes have to work those out because they're just not professional to see usually. I have one photo that I actually made with the light and I left the light streaks in it. But I had to come up with an idea to block out that light while taking photos and running along with my lamp. So what I do, I've got this really ugly thing here. And what I do is I slip it over my Yongnuo and it blocks out all the light from like the back. See, like if I do that versus that, I mean, there's a possibility that you can see light, but you also see these lights down here for the numbers and that's just not handy to do. So it just blocks out all that. But anyways, what I'm going to do is this is just for blocking out light. I'm going to show you how I made this. And plus, I'm going to do a diffuser as well with it to uh, diffuse the light and make it more gentle on the car. And I'm going to make two types of these. One is going to be with a flat uh, diffuser and the other one is going to be rounded. What you're going to need today are scissors, cardboard. I had these laying around from when I had my radiator rebuilt from my old 1974 Taunus 12M. Tape, but not this kind of tape. Go with duct tape. It's great. So, um, with that said, let's begin.
Probably out of focus right now, but uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to light out my Chevy Aveo 2009 with just the light on, and that's it. And we're going to see what the results look like. So here we go. Alright, things look pretty good, but I've turned the Young Nuo down to a setting of 39 or 40 because it gives a nice silver light that I like for my photography. The settings I'm using on my camera is a f13 um, for 20 seconds at ISO 100. Next, I'm going to back up a little bit. I'm going to use the other shield for it, the first one that I made. It's just blocking out any light that's coming from uh, for the streaks in the air. Okay, now I've got my uh, backing on. The first one that I ever made, it was just the idea of just to block the light out of the camera. So we're going to do that. Same settings on the camera. Here we go. I'm going to do at least two shots for every uh, item here because I want to make sure that I get the shot right and that the light's refracting right. Next, I've got my barn doors with a diffuser on it. Uh, I'm going to use it. You can still see the light bar in here, but it's working fine. The numbers are right. It's covering up all the lights on the back. You only see light out the front, which is exactly what I want. And we're going to see what kind of streaks it produces.
I gotta say, this thing produces amazing light on the car, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, but I don't like that it leaves streaks in the air, but we'll see. All right, and now I'm going to test the final one, which is supposed to be the round one, but as you can see, it's not round. But you can also see that it'll leave a string of light on the sides. I mean, it's pretty evident, which you can see here. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be a lot more work in post, but, uh, yeah, we'll just uh, take the shot, see how it goes with the lighting and everything and how it diffuses everything and spreads it out over the car. This time I'm going to go over the car just like I did before, but I'm going to slightly rotate it to where the camera is going to see more of the light, but I'm going to put it more over the car to see if it actually diffuses more onto the side of the car. And uh, yeah, we'll see the results of that. Um, I'm just really curious about this one because I've never done anything like this before. This is totally new to me. I don't even know if I'm going to see different results in the end. Uh, we'll see that all uh, in Photoshop and on the video, so... One more pass, but I'm going to do it totally different than what I usually do. Right now, that's all we're going to do. Um, yeah, let's go back inside, see how everything looks. Okay. Hey guys, thanks for joining in. I'm glad you all made it to the end of the video. If you guys like the video, hit that like button. I mean, you can always hit the like and no button, but uh, who does that? Uh, give me a follow, even. If you guys want to view more of my work, it's on Instagram. I'll put it down here because it's just incredibly hard to talk out. Or you can go to my website, www.americanmotorsbio.com. And if while you're there, why not book a shoot? I'm in the area of the Netherlands and Germany. If you're in that area, that'd be great. I'd love to shoot for you. Something else I want to touch on is if you leave a comment down below, tell me what I could do better in this video, like my cameramanship, for example, because I know it's bad in this video. Anything else like tips or pointers that you can give me of things you want to see in future videos, that would be just great to hear from you guys. Thanks again, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, we'll see you next time.